Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get mod, uh, mods downloaded into your State of Decay 2 uh, communities. So first what you want to do, uh, press the first link in the description. It takes you to nexusmods.com. Uh, so you should come and into uh, this page right here. The second thing you want to press on games. And I already have mine saved, but you can obviously search for it up here. Uh, you can press State of Decay 2. And then it's going to take you to this page right here. Uh, you want to go to popular uh, all time and these are all the mods that you know they have and then you can keep going but the first uh, mod I suggest you guys get is the state of decay 2 mod manager uh, you want to make sure the virus scan is safe or you want to check the virus scan to see if it's safe or not and uh, you know the mod manager is always going to be safe because it's the most downloaded in my opinion it's really useful it lets you uh, manage all your mods uh, that you have downloaded obviously so you want to go to file manual download and then this page is going to come up you just press uh, slow download or fast download if you already use nexus mods and it should start downloading in five seconds uh and then yep here it is so this is the second time i've downloaded it you want to open it so this does work um on pc Steam, Epic Games, and then the Xbox app on the PC if you have it downloaded, which is what I use. Um, and then you want to just open that. Let's see. So once you have it uh, downloaded, yours will look like this. It's going to be empty. Um, and then you can see conflicts here. So make sure after you add each mod that the conflict doesn't say true. If it does, just delete it and go back to the website and check what was wrong with it. Um, so the first. Uh, if you don't have an integration pack, you can make a pack right here. But if you already do, just press add mod, go to your downloads, and then you have a bunch of mods uh, here that I've downloaded already. So dev menu, I'll show you guys in just a second what that is. 99 stacks of ammo, no durability loss. Um, you wanna press on one and then press open, and it should be already in here. Uh, if that didn't work for you guys, what you wanna do if you're on Steam, um, open up your Steam, Let's say I, I don't play on Steam, but let's say you open Steam, right click on the game, press manage, go to browse local files. Once you're in here, this is obviously for Rust, um, not State of Decay 2, uh, but you wanna look for a folder called saved. And then once you go in there, it's gonna be a folder called packs. Uh, so for me, I have it downloaded from the Xbox app, so it's kind of a weird place. So it's packages, Microsoft, Dayton, local cache, local state of decay 2, saved, and then packs. Yours is gonna be state of decay 2, saved, packs, but it's probably gonna be like Steam, uh, Steam here, local, local cache, state of decay 2, saved, and packs. And this is your packs folder which you will transfer all your mods from. Let's open a new file explorer, go to downloads. So you wanna put this on this side and that on that side. And then this is all your mods that you have downloaded. So what you wanna do is just uh, bring it over here and it should put it in the mods uh, folder. Um, and then this, uh, for, uh, let's see, for more mods, just you wanna press down here after you download uh, any mod that you want. You go back to popular games. Uh, you know, there's a large developer menu, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Uh, light, brights, uh, improved flashlights and headlights, really worth checking out. Um, you know, hidden bounty short nights, you can, you know, basically do the same thing here. So press on the mod, make sure it's safe, and then press file and manual download. So yeah, let's get into the game and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so now that we are in the game, um, I'm just somewhere in the middle of nowhere, honestly. Um, you, so the other, the first one that I have is brighter flashlights, but I think I disabled it somehow. It's supposed to be way brighter. Um, I can check in this car and show you guys real quick. Uh, no, okay, it's just a little too dark right now, but you can see that the headlights are way brighter than normal. Um, and then, so for the dev menu, you wanna press F2 on your keyboard and it opens this up. Uh, you know, don't use as a multiplayer to annoy other people. Just use it for in your own community to make it more fun. Um, but usually, uh, you have all this infinite stuff, range weapons, you have all the weapons in the game that you could want, consumables, you know, you got everything, injury kits, boombox. Let's get a couple boombox to show you guys real quick. 
um, and deployable minefield. I didn't have, hold up, no, get out of here. You can also go to uh, zombie cheats and then destroy all and just kills all the zombies around you. Uh, but yeah, let's, and then there's community cheats where you can add parts. Uh, you know, you can see it's adding parts. Um, mission cheats, you know, all that. Um, and then there's, there was one thing here. And there we go. So you can obviously use this to recover fatigue, remove plague, remove injury. You can see to make your game easier. Or you can actually add sickness or add injury to make the game a little harder for you guys. You can see bottom left. Uh, make sure when you're spamming all this you don't press kill character it will automatically kill your character uh but let's let's use this boom box yeah so you guys can see oh i thought it was the, oh i thought it was the automatic one okay uh the other thing is stacks of 99 ammo and then consumable so it's like this deployable minefield right and there's a horde coming towards me let's bring him over here i can throw this around right All right, now let's watch. Let's watch him get wrecked. You guys can see stacks of every uh, everything are 9.99, um, and it's really useful. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, oh, get off me, please. If you guys uh, like the video, uh, make sure you do like and let me know what else you guys would want to see. All right, you guys have a good day.